to those of you who have to bleed every month because I don't know, Mother Nature or whatever decided to punish us for not getting pregnant or whatever that month. Bravo, y'all Y'all are toughing it out from the pain. I didn't really get the talk before I learned about mine. I was in school, big chilling by the way, totally paying attention in class and not drawing it at all. And then suddenly I felt, uh, that, that is a new feeling, huh? I just assumed I couldn't hold my pee because I'm a kid and I can forget to pee sometimes. Flashback to my other pee myself video. I sat down and I did my business and I got some toilet paper and then... Holy fudge! What the? I'm bleeding! Oh my... What the? Yeah! As a kid, seeing that much blood coming out of you, you think you've been stabbed 27 times! Samples. You didn't want to leave him a chance. Or something like in the movies, I don't know. My initial reaction was to look for the cut. <laughs> I spent like 15 hopeless minutes looking for why I'm bleeding and where the hell I'm bleeding from until I just gave up and stripped the bathroom of his toilet paper and went back to class. Like I'm not bleeding copium amounts of blood or anything and freaking out like I'm gonna leak out. I advise if this happens, just go to the nurse. I was just too embarrassed to even go. When I went home, I told my mom about it. And she just started laughing at me! <laughs> like, excuse me, mother! Your child is bleeding like they've been stabbed! What is this reaction? What? Quick note, she and I tend to laugh at each other when we shouldn't, especially if we're crying. And it's not super serious. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> but it's a mother and daughter thing. It happens. <laughs> it happens a lot. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. What about this is cute? What are you thinking about? How is this cute? I don't understand. She then proceeds to educate me on what periods were while laughing at me and that I have to bleed every month. <laughs> so that was my discovery. The first few months were dreadful, but you have to just slowly accept this is, this is my new reality now. Until you feel the pain for it and you're mad, you don't give a shit at all. There was this one time when it was so bad, I was gonna lose it, oh my god. It was when I was outside of my pre-college class. It's always the worst when you're outside and you don't expect it at all. Thankfully, I had my pads, so I was able to keep the blood to myself. But then, as class went on, I slowly started to feel more and more and more pain to where I felt like I was gonna fall over. I thought I could tough it out, but it was like someone in my stomach is continuously stabbing me while pushing the knife deeper each time. <laughs> Professor? Yes, yes. Uh, I feel awkward because he's a guy, but a girl has her problems and I eat painkillers. No! I, I need to go to the nurse. How come? Don't ask me how come! Just let me go! It, it's, uh, cramps. My stomach hurts because... Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Go ahead. If you head downstairs, someone could take you. I hobbled my way down and asked the front desk, Excuse me, there's a nurse painkillers I need. Oh, dear. Um, the nurse is at the other side of the building. I was fucking living. If this was the building and I'm here, this is where the nurse is. Why is it a 15 minute walk? How am I supposed to hobble there? I, don't... I had no idea how to get there, but a sweet security guard said she would take me there. I was thankful, but all I wanted was a painkiller. A painkiller. Please, a freaking painkiller! Where is it? After 15 minutes, or what felt like an hour, we looked all over the side of the building, but we couldn't find that goddamn room anywhere. So then it turns out, 
Whatever the odds were, we were lost. And I have had my breaking point. I fractured my ankle before, but somehow this is worse now. Turns out we were at a different section of the building, so we had to walk another 10 minutes to find the damn nurse room. And then after 30 minutes, we finally freaking made it. Oh my God, I was finally like, I'll be free from the pain. Just give me the pain kill. No, oh, we can't give you that yet. What? We need to call your mom for permission. Huh? I just painfully said, okay. And they took me to a bed to lay down and gave me a heating pad. Normally, those help, but it was so bad, it just barely did anything. So I was just sitting there, waiting for my mom to call. Then finally, one nice thing happened. She called me back in five minutes, and she said, yeah, of course you can. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I swallowed that shit down and waited. <laughs> And waited. But the thing is, it takes like 20 to 30 minutes for that thing to kick in and I'm still dying. All I could do was wait and keep waiting. Milady, I am here to save you from the wretched period. Mwah! What? Hmm? What fucking took you so long? I was waiting for you to lie on me. So why? Why are you here? Why weren't you here yet? I knew how long it took me to get here. And how long I had to get you. And how long you knew I could do this. It wasn't immediate like that. But slowly but surely, the pain started to go away. I sometimes find it crazy that this has to be a normal thing for girls every month. And that's like 60 days a year. Carry around painkillers if your period is coming soon. I still forget, but thankfully the most painful ones I've had so far, I had faster access to painkillers or I was just home to take them. If you have any stories like these, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Just don't make them too detailed, like describing the blood or anything that that we can keep to ourselves in our tampons and our period patch. Hello, thank you for watching. I'm sorry it took so long. I just finished my first semester of senior year and then now I'm going to be dealing with my last semester of college next year. Oh boy. But I managed to squeeze in this video before the year ended, so I hope you guys like it. It's been quite the time. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but you know, it's funny. <laughs> Uh, I hope, especially with the one with my mom, she was laughing at me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me know your period stories in the comments, I'd love to hear. I hope none of you are on your periods this holiday. If you are, then make sure you get your feminine products, your painkillers, your heating pads. Make sure it's all nice and smooth sailing. But yeah, happy holidays, whatever you hope you're having a good holiday, whatever you celebrate. And, yeah!